Hi, I'm Jennifer and this is Celtic Knot Crochet on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to weave the Celtic Knot that is in the Killarney Hot Pad and the Celtic Knot Pin. Both are free patterns that you can find on my blog at CelticKnotCrochet.com. You'll see by the diagrams that are available in the pattern that they're the same exact knot. Just one is a lot bigger than the other. The small one is about two inches across and this large one is about six inches across. So it is much easier to weave a Celtic knot with lots of big spaces like this. So we're going to do this one first. So first you need to print out your diagram that's included in the pattern. You need a piece of cork board. I know this one's a little small, but it'll work for what we need. And then of course you need some sewing pins to help keep everything in place. So I take a pin and just hold the diagram right there on the cork board. The cord that you create is very long, about three feet long. So you take your cord and you're going to line it up on this red star. But as always, it's good to start with your finger first before you put the cord down and follow the cord around, taking note of its path, and it will take you all the way back to the beginning. Now we can start with the cord, and this time you'll want to start with the end without the yarn tails, and I'll explain that later. So you use the pin to hold it in place. And since this is a big knot, you might want to pin every inch or so. Now the very first loop of the knot is very straightforward because there are no other cords on here. Then as we go across, I know that my end I want to hide underneath an overpass. So I'll take out the pin and then put it back. And then I'll keep going, following the arrows. Now if I peek at this one, I can see that this cord is going to go over again. And you'll start to notice a pattern with this knot. If I look here, I see that this one that I'm working on going this way goes over again. And then as I peek under here, I see that it goes over again. So you go all the way to here with the knot. We started here and as we went, every time we passed over another piece of the cord, we went over. So that's several overs in a row to help you do it at home. Once you get to this point, now we start going under and over and we alternate. So we just went over, and then if I peek at the diagram, I see this line across means I have to go under with this end. And I also can see that I only have one more loop to go. And as always with Celtic knots, if you've done it correctly, then you should be alternating under, over, under, over once the whole knot is completed or if you're on your last loop, you most likely will have over, under, over, so next would come under, I'm going to put another pin right here, so we just went under, and I can check on the diagram, yep, I continue to go over, 
and then we meet up at the beginning. Now, you might have this problem. Your cord is just a little bit too long, maybe because you used different yarn than I did, or your tension is different than mine. No worries about that. I'm going to post a video about how to fix this problem, so be looking for that. So that's basically how, for now, we're going to leave it as is. This is how you weave this knot on a large scale for the Killarney Hot Pad. Now we're going to weave the knot for the pin. It's the same knot, but just much smaller. So there are a few different techniques you could use for that. So I'll find the star, place the end of my cord right there and then if you remember from the previous weaving every pass we did until we got to here was over sometimes with the smaller weaving it can be hard to see the path of the knot because your cord is covering it so sometimes it's good to print out an extra copy of the diagram so you can have it on the side and you can refer to it that way as well. So because I remember everything's going to be over, I don't have to try to see underneath. I'm just going to lay the cord down. Like so. And so here's the point that I know that all the overs stop. And now I have just one more pass through the center and one more loop on the outside. And then I'll be finished weaving my knot. So I went over. So now I need to go under. So I lift up the one I'm going under thread the cord through. Next in line is this cord coming across. I'm going to go over it, which means this cord that I come to, I'm going to go under. Now I go around the outside like this. I just went under. I'm going to take this pin and put it here. So now I know I go over. And then I come right here to the beginning. Now, if you take out the pins and put that end behind where it meets up with the beginning, you can see that you've completed the knot and it's all over and under.